Henry VII was born on January 28, 1457, in Pembroke Castle, Wales, the son of Edmund Tudor and Lady Margaret Beaufort. He was born into a noble family, but his parents were not of royal blood. His father died before he was born. Despite his lack of royal lineage, Henry was educated and trained as a nobleman, and he learned the skills necessary to be a successful ruler. He was the founder of the Tudor dynasty and the first monarch from the House of Tudor. The Tudor dynasty would go on to rule England for more than a century, and Henry VII is considered the founder of the dynasty. He was the first monarch to hold the title of King of England, rather than King of the English, and his reign marked the beginning of a new era in English history. Henry VII became King of England on August 22, 1485, following his victory at the Battle of Bosworth Field. The Battle of Bosworth Field was the final battle of the Wars of the Roses, a series of conflicts between the Houses of Lancaster and York for control of the English throne. Henry's victory at Bosworth Field marked the end of the Wars of the Roses and the beginning of a new era of stability and order in England. His coronation was on 30 October 1485. He was married to Elizabeth of York, the daughter of King Edward IV, in 1486, in order to unite the Houses of Lancaster and York and to strengthen his claim to the throne. The marriage of Henry VII and Elizabeth of York was a significant event in English history, as it brought together the two rival Houses of Lancaster and York. The union of these two houses symbolized the end of the Wars of the Roses and the beginning of a new era of peace and stability. He was 29 and she was 20, and were third cousins. During his reign, Henry VII worked to stabilize England after the Wars of the Roses, which had left the country in a state of chaos. He implemented policies aimed at restoring order and stability to England, including the establishment of a strong central government, the suppression of rebellions, and the establishment of the Court of Star Chamber to deal with legal cases. The Court of Star Chamber was a powerful court that dealt with cases that could not be resolved by the ordinary courts. He implemented policies to improve the economy, including the establishment of trade agreements with other countries and the introduction of a system of subsidies. Henry VII was a shrewd, intelligent and pragmatic ruler who recognized the importance of economic stability for the prosperity of the country. He encouraged trade and commerce, and he implemented policies to protect and promote English industries. He was a cautious and frugal monarch, and he amassed a considerable fortune during his reign. Henry VII was known for his caution and his willingness to take calculated risks. He was a patron of the arts, and he commissioned a number of notable works, including the Henry VII Lady Chapel at Westminster Abbey. Henry was also known for his love of music, literature, and architecture. Henry VII's reign saw the rise of the Tudor Rose as a symbol of the new dynasty. The Tudor Rose is a symbol that combines the Red Rose of Lancaster and the White Rose of York. The symbol was created to represent the union of the two rival houses and the beginning of a new era of peace and stability in England. Henry VII's reign also saw the emergence of a strong navy, which played an important role in securing England's position as a major power in Europe. He recognized the importance of a strong navy for the security and prosperity of England, and he invested heavily in building up the country's naval capabilities. Henry VII had a complicated relationship with his son, Prince Arthur, who died young. Henry had high hopes for his son, Prince Arthur, who was intended to be his successor. However, Arthur died unexpectedly at the age of 15, leaving Henry with the difficult task of securing the succession of his younger son, Henry VIII. Henry VII's reign was marked by a number of political challenges, including several uprisings and rebellions. Henry was a cautious and pragmatic ruler, and he was quick to suppress any challenges to his authority. He was known for his harsh treatment of rebels, and he was willing to use violence and intimidation to maintain order. Henry VII's reign saw the beginning of the Tudor monarchy's association with the Protestant Reformation. While Henry VII himself remained a devout Catholic, his son and successor, Henry VIII, would eventually break away from the Catholic Church and establish the Church of England. Henry VII was known for his interest in astrology and the occult. He was a firm believer in the power of astrology and consulted astrologers regularly to help guide his decisions. Henry VII's reign saw the establishment of a number of institutions that would become an important part of English society, including the Royal College of Physicians and the Royal College of Surgeons. These institutions were established to promote education and training in medicine, and they helped to raise the standards of medical practice in England. Henry VII's reign saw the beginning of English involvement in the exploration and colonization of the New World. In 1497, John Cabot, an Italian navigator, sailed under the English flag and explored the coast of Newfoundland. 
This marked the beginning of English interest in the New World, and it would eventually lead to the colonization of North America. Henry VII was a devoted family man, and he was deeply affected by the loss of his wife, Elizabeth of York, in 1503. Elizabeth's death was a significant blow to Henry, and it is said that he never fully recovered from her loss. Henry VII's reign saw the establishment of a number of important trade agreements with other countries, including the Treaty of Medina del Campo with Spain and the Magnus Intercursus with Burgundy. These agreements helped to promote trade and commerce, and they contributed to the economic prosperity of England. Henry VII died on April 21, 1509, aged 52, of tuberculosis, and was succeeded by his son, Henry VIII. His reign marked the beginning of a new era in English history, and his legacy as the founder of the Tudor dynasty and a shrewd and pragmatic ruler continues to be felt to this day.